Hi guys and welcome to the trading show. This week we are gonna talk about Markets, Bonds Rebound Our portfolio, Good Week for Bitcoin Tip of the Week, Intraday Bias on British Pound and the Weekly Rollovers And if you are interested in systematic trading then subscribe to our channel I am Francesco Placci, head of R&D at Ungar Academy. Let's start from the market overview to see together what happened during the week. Quite weak on the markets, there is really not much to report except the fact that we are back, as for the indices, close to the all-time highs. This is the mini S&P, but uh, you can see how the movement has lost a little strength. Obviously, this level is a resistance. We will see in the next week if they'll be able to overcome it and continue in their run. And the same goes for the Nasdaq, which is also close to historical highs. As for the bond sector, we note a recovery in the performance of American bonds, but also of the European Bund. They are trying a reaction. The performance of natural gas is also not worthy which in the last week has recorded more than 5% return. That said, there is little else but the negative performance of the entire cereal sector as a whole. Currencies are also negative, while Bitcoin, as you can see, is essentially stable. It remained at the last week's levels in this consolidation zone. On the volatility front, the percentile values collapsed. We have very low levels of volatility both in the short and long term. About the implied volatility, we see a term structure that is in complete contango, very well defined, with the VIX index, which is at the lowest levels of the last 12 months. It is a clear signal that the traders have nothing to fear at the moment about the future trend of equity indices. After seeing some key statistics on financial markets and given the fact that automated traders also use this data to build their trading strategies, as usual, we will now take a look at our portfolio of trading strategies to see how systems have reacted to current market conditions. Hi guys, from Alessandro Danos and welcome to this new appointment with the analysis of our portfolio. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about uh, the Bitcoin. Uh, when I talk about uh, our portfolio, I am referring to uh, at least strategies that are present at least at one in one of our portfolios. And uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, Bitcoin, uh, which is, uh, we can say, uh, a very uh, famous uh, instrument in the last uh, uh, period. And this uh, is due mainly because of its uh, volatility from uh, one end and from the other end, uh, of course, also the uh, speculation and innovation that uh, surround, uh, we can say, uh, this particular product. So the point uh, is uh, can we uh, develop strategies, automated strategies also on this particular product and the answer is uh, of course uh, yes because uh, this product has a very high volatility and a very uh, strong tendency to follow trends and so uh, with automated uh, strategies we can exploit uh, these uh, kind of informations for our trading purposes. Uh, these two strategies are uh, as said uh, similar, uh, they enter only long on the Bitcoin uh, future and uh, they try to uh, enter in a trend following uh, mode. We can see, starting from this uh, first strategy, that uh, um, 
we uh, achieved a good profit target in the last uh, yesterday we can say uh, for an amount of over three thousand and three hundred dollars and we can also take a look at the equity curve which is uh, pretty fine of course uh, we have uh, also some uh, drawdowns of course and uh, I also want to say that uh, we enter on this uh, market with a, a particular calculation for what regards the size and in particular we set an initial starting capital of $100,000 and from this uh, parameter uh, then we uh, calculate also regarding the uh, average true range and uh, the stop loss of course uh, our size also the next uh, strategy performed uh, really well we can see it uh, from the equity curve analysis in the last period uh, it is in a we can say small uh, drawdown and thanks to this uh, last uh, trade which uh, has uh, had an amount of around fourteen hundred dollars uh, it's trying to uh, recover from uh, the previous losses we can see also here that the last trade as said um, has a, had a profit of fourteen uh, hundreds and also looking at the annual period analysis we are uh, pretty happy with the results we can see that in 2021 the strategy has reached a profit of over uh, $13,000 uh, and so I recommend you guys also to use uh, these kind of instruments uh, that of course are uh, young we can say and so historical data are not so deep but they can diversify uh, very well your portfolio. Here data comes from uh, Binance, uh, their service for uh, data feed is uh, free and also uh, with our referral link Unger Academy you can benefit of a 20% lifetime discount. Hello everyone and welcome from uh, Andrea Nebbiolo. Today we will talk about uh, again the uh, futures world and in particular we are talking about the British pound future and uh, this product is listed on the CME exchange, so the uh, Chicago uh, exchange and uh, in particular we have to remember that this uh, product uh, works uh, similarly to GBP USD uh, Forex uh, pair but uh, um, in this case we are talking about a future contract uh, that has uh, a contract unit of 62,500 British pounds so the, the multiplier so the point value is uh, 62,500 uh, dollars in this case and uh, this is important to be uh, remembered because other uh, currency futures such as euro fx for example has the has a different have a different uh, uh, multiplier value so when once we will compare the results uh, of the strategy we have also to keep in mind uh, that the multiplier may be uh, different uh, if compared to other currencies for example or other futures in general but uh, going back to the um, gbp um, future here um, the session starts from 5 p.m. up to 4 p.m. Chicago time from Sunday to uh, Friday and uh, usually the uh, product code so the ticker of this product is uh, 6B or also um, BP depending on the data feed for example uh, three station calls this product BP instead of 6B so what I did in this case uh, is I've, I've just tried to explore if it was possible to uh, develop uh, the bias approach on uh, this market so what i did is just to buy at uh, every hour of the day and then to sell on the next uh, bar and then to find uh, which hours are more profitable and which ones uh, are uh, the the worst profitable to discover the short side and um, once uh, i have obtained the uh, results uh, of, the, of the optimization process uh, I have exported everything to everything into Excel 
and then at this point uh, from the net profit column I have created a uh, histogram chart uh, just to represent the profit uh, the profits uh, I would have achieved uh, by buying at uh, um, every of this uh, time of the day and as you can see here there are some consecutive bars uh, in the same uh, direction like uh, here for example from 9 up to um, 3 uh, p.m. for what regards the long side and vice versa here we have uh, some consecutive hours for what regards the short side so initially I've tried uh, the, the strategy by buying at 9 a.m. and selling so closing the position at the opening time of this bar so at 3 uh, p.m. And then going short at 3 p.m. and closing the position at the 9 a.m. of the next uh, morning. I've also try, uh, cha tried changing the hours of the short, so just starting at midnight, for example, and closing at uh, 9 a.m., so at the opening time, of course, of this bar. But uh, finally, I have decided to uh, go short at uh, 3 p.m. and then to keep the short opened up to uh, 9 a.m. So uh, I've tried, I've coded everything into uh, this uh, strategy here and uh, I will show you the results. So this is the equity curve of the strategy. The equity shape is pretty nice for being a very raw and uh, simple strategy. Uh, of, of, of course, as usual, we have some periods where uh, we have, would have faced some difficulties like here or here or even here, so in the last part. If we have a look to the uh, report, so the annual period analysis here, we can see clearly that in the very last part uh, we have two negative years and this is not, of course, a good uh, sign in general, but they are not so uh, terrible. In general, on the British pound, I have experienced some difficulties uh, after the Brexit, Brexit event in 2016, even if here we have as one of the best years, the 2017. So just pay attention to this, mar to this market because uh, I have faced other difficulties after the Brexit event. And uh, here we have two negative years uh, in the very last part of this uh, kind of report. For what regards the average trade, uh, at the moment is quite uh, poor and uh, unsustainable in my opinion, because the tick size is $6.25. So we have uh, just two ticks as average trade, but this is still a raw strategy at its uh, initial stage of the development. So it can be uh, improved uh, just we have just to remember also that uh, because of the British pound has a lower uh, multiplier if compared for example to the Eurofx where the multiplier is uh, uh, 125 thousands uh, of dollars um, of course here we have an, a lower average trade uh, also because the multiplier on the British pound is there is uh, uh, $62,500 so because of the lower contracts unit we have also a lower average trade but we can try uh, in any way to work uh, on uh, this strategy and maybe uh, something good uh, uh, is possible anyway many rollovers next week Friday will be the triple which is day the simultaneous expiration of index futures, index futures options and stock options. So next Friday all the index futures on the American and European stock exchanges will expire. I remind you, however, that as regards the futures on American indices, they are usually rolled around a week in advance. We also have the VIX future expiration on June 16th. Finally, I remind you that despite the expiration of the crude oil is June 22, it is usually rolled a few days in advance, so towards the end of the next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about the trading method we at Junger Academy use and teach our students, 
Not to miss out on reading Andrea Unger's new book. It's called The Unger Method, the winning strategy of the four-time world trading champion. And in it, Andrea explains, step by step, the trading method that let him win four World Cup trading championships and that you too can use to improve your approach to the markets and achieve your trading goals. And the greatest thing is that now you can grab it for free by just paying for shipping and handling. In the book there is also a rich bonus area with links to videos reserved only for those who get the book. Don't miss the chance to take your trading to the next level. Click the link in this video and get your free copy of the Unger method now. You pay only shipping and handling.